You're watching CBS 2 News in high definition. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Chris Raggy. We begin tonight a lot better. And staying warm without paying a huge electrical bill, the hot device that could help you save lots of money this winter. And staying warm without paying a huge heating bill. Everybody needs to see this next hot item that could help you save money this winter. Right. Coming up next, <laughs> the cost of heating your home. How you can actually save money and still stay warm this winter. Stay with us. With home heating costs on the rise, everybody's looking for ways to save a buck. Now, one way is to keep a handle on all your electricity usage. And now CBS 2's consumer reporter Kirsten Cole has the very latest gadget that will help squeeze the most from your meter. Open the front door and say hello to the greedy appliances inside your home. But now you can have control with the smart meter. It works by simply tapping out a few commands, then instantly calculate how much you'll save by, say, running your dishwasher at night. This is CBS 5 Eyewitness News. A Central Valley man has come up with a way for you to see just how much you're spending on energy as the temperature drops. Tom Tamarkin created this smart meter. It's part of a new generation of electric meters that communicate with utility readers. The device tells you exactly how much your energy use is costing, and you can even set a budget. The uh, mercury not rising, however. No, mercury's <laughs> going down. We got a wind chill going on out there. It is definitely cold across Northern California. And the colder it gets, the more you, you crank up the heat. And I'm telling you, it's going to cost you some big bucks. Tonight, we're going to go out and visit with Annie Hong. And she's got something called a money meter that'll teach us how to see how, what we're spending before we actually get the bill. How's this work? Well, it's a pretty good idea. In fact, the man behind this gadget works out of this home here in Carmichael and has now been converted into an office. And this here is a digital reader that figures out how much electricity your home or business is using. And from there, real time, you can figure out how much you're spending. Who knows how much it's costing you to walk through the front door? Turning on the lights, the fan and heater are being calculated. And until now, you had no idea how much until you got the bill in the mail. Traditionally, old-fashioned power meters had circular registers. And these registers operated in a mirror-like function, right to left, left to right. And they only displayed engineering units, kilowatt hours. They did not display dollars and cents. Tom Tamarkin created this smart meter as part of a new generation of electric meters that communicate instantaneously with the utility reader. It tells you how much your energy usage is costing. In this case, it's 24 cents per hour. You can even set a budget. I can say I want to spend no more than $3 a day, $90 approximately a month. And if I'm in jeopardy at any point in time of exceeding that budget, one the device will beep at me. Under a state mandate, utility companies like SMUD and PG&E are exploring pilot programs to start converting homes and businesses to smart meters. PG&E, for example, is already installing gas smart meters in Sacramento and should be done in about four years. Tamarkin says his device is being used in L.A. County for a trial to see if energy use goes down. It will be a very exciting project. We currently have about uh, 350 of our meters installed outdoors. And the next step is to outfit the various housing units with these units. To mark and adds, the bottom line is his smart meter will help customers save on their electricity, gas, and even water bills. Anything we can do to save 5 or 10 percent of the amount of fuel that we're using means we have a few more years more to design new solutions. So you can see here, we are using 24 cents per hour. That's our cost right now. This basically is using a combination of wireless radio technology and also Wi-Fi. And aside from getting it here on the in-home device, mm -hmm. you can actually get the information onto your PDA and even your laptop. So. That everywhere. That is just way too cool. I need one of those because I just moved into a new house and I saw my first bill. I really need one of those, Annie. Yeah, especially during the winter when it's really cold. You got it. Thank you very much, Annie Hong out there. Yes, we're having a stakeholders meeting on the 15th at 1 p.m. Right. At the Synergix building at 2330 Gold Meadow. That's Gold Meadow, M-E-D-O-W. Right. 
that's in Gold River. 95670. Fantastic. Looking forward to meeting you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Tom Tamarkin, founder and CEO of USCL Corporation. Welcome to our shareholders meeting. Thank you for your time. It's important to note that the USCO product line consists of two components, one of which is what we call the smart meter, which replaces an old-fashioned electromechanical meter such as this. Uh, there are approximately 135 million of these old-fashioned electromechanical meters throughout the country. Recent changes in the Department of Energy and, and the federal stimulus having to do with the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act uh, have created conditions now where the government is subsidizing the replacement of about 50 million of these electromechanical meters with more modern digital meters and specifically digital communicating meters with uh, what we call distributed intelligence. USCL has developed such a meter. In fact, it's a state-of-the-art meter, the most advanced meter for the residential market. What we're showing now is our meter, which is in a test rack, which is actually operating with a tremendous amount of power going through the meter. You can see the display, the words watts, and in real time, as I increase the load, the amount of current, going through the meter, we see a real-time increase on the display in watts. Uh, by the same token, as I decrease the amount of power going through the meter, uh, we see a corresponding decrease of the number of watts on the display. Um, below watts, we see another line with some numbers and information and <coughs> the letters V-A-R-S. Uh, this has to do with what we call power factor and reactive power, and I'll explain a little bit about that in a minute and why that's useful and how that can be actually turned into a revenue stream both for our company as well as for utility companies. The meter, located outdoors, communicates with an in-home display. The in-home display can be a discrete, a discrete display such as our EMS 2020, or we can actually run that software on a PC, an example of which we have running, and we will go through a series of uh, demonstrations wherein we turn appliances on and off, we turn the air conditioning on and off, and we show the difference uh, in the real-time cost of uh, electricity as a function of those loads changing. And again, it's important to note that USCL's primary contribution in terms of its product line is the in-home display and those components inside the house necessary to allow the display uh, to communicate with the meter as well as future appliances that will be communicating with the display and with the meter. Uh, beginning 2012, all appliances, heavy appliances such as washing machines, dryers, dishwashers, refrigerators, air conditioners and the like will be required by the government Department of Energy to be communicating. That is to say these appliances will actually have the ability using the wireless in-home network uh, to communicate the load information to a central display and control device such as our EMS 2020 so that the homeowner can optimize the use of power and minimize the maximum load within the house uh, to achieve the most economic uh, load factor. Um, I think it would be useful if we zoom out and show the rack of equipment and I'm going to move out of the way, that our meter is actually resident in because again it's important uh, to see that this is not a uh, PowerPoint demonstration but this is real hardware which USCL um, has designed and is operating over the course of uh, the last many years.